once I joined SpaceX, we had a couple of challenges. Um, when I joined, I was the tenth person here at the Cape, very small team, um, and we had a site that was uh, being demolished from Titan Centaur, and we had to build it up in rapid turnaround for, for our launches. And we did it in a way that was non-conventional from my previous experiences. By that, I mean we were very resourceful and scrappy in terms of reconditioning existing hardware, working with NASA and Space Florida to obtain you know, what they consider to be obsolete you know, scrap hardware and, and reconditioning it for our uses. We built that pad at Complex 40 for less than a tenth of what it cost us uh, on Delta IV to build Complex 37. We bought a 125,000 gallon liquid nitrogen cryogenic storage vessel for one dollar over scrap, so eighty-six thousand uh, dollar investment on on a, on a tank that to build new would be over two million dollars, kind of thing. And you know, by the by the time we we got it moved up to uh, you know, Complex Forty and had it activated, I think we had about a quarter of a million dollars in it. We built that pad with a very small team and on a shoestring budget and made everything work. And uh, by the time I left SpaceX in uh, January of 2014, we were eight for eight on our first launches. And, um, you know, the company, company was, was rolling and off and running and, and now looking to um, build up Launch Complex 39 and the team's up there right now on 39A and looking, looking to bring commercial manned space flight back to the fore up there on Kennedy Space Center. So we did some great things with SpaceX. I'm Brian Mosdell, and that's my untold story from the Rocket Ranch.